Excelsior! Welcome everyone to another video today. My name is Nicholas or Nick Greer. It doesn't even matter to me. So let's get into it. And today I will be talking about the first female yellow jacket. She made her first appearance in the Avengers issue 201 in February of 1986, where she was created by Roger Stern and John Buskuma. Busk Busk Rita Damara is a super villain who stole Hank Pym's yellow jacket suit and she made it more feminine. She bumped heads with Wasp. Yellow, ja yellow jacket Rita participates in the takeover of the Avengers, Avengers Mansion where she assists one of the powerful versions of Masters of Evil and, and, and was a professional criminal. She was defeated. It was sent to prison, but was freed by the by the inventor known as Fixer. She escapes and gets revenge on Wasp, but was distracted by Black Knight, a superhero that we all will be seeing in the Eternals movie. When Rita rejects Fixer, who had a who had a thing for her, he tries to kill her, but was defeated by Black Knight in Yellow Jacket. When the Avengers, when the Avengers weren't around, her suit receives a call from the automated system of the old Avengers base. She teams up with Beast, a member of the X Men, Captain America, Falcon, Hercules, Hulk, and Jocasta, who was Ultron's wife, who supposedly was Ultron's wife. They battle the super intelligent high evolutionary and fought against his goons. Hercules defeats high evolutionary and she would join the super villain, all female super villain ruling team known as Femazons. She affiliated herself with the masters of evil, whereas it was led by Dr. Octopus who will, who will be appearing in no way home. They confronted the original no, they confronted the 31st century Guardians of the Galaxy, not the ones with Star-Lord, Rocket Raccoon, and Gamora, not those, in, inside the Avengers Mansion, where they wished they took over the mansion. She betrayed the Masters of Evil, and, and, was, and, they, and both teams were overwhelmed by waves of evil aliens who can impersonate superhumans. Not sure if those are scrolls or not, but it's unknown at the moment. Both Guardians and Masters, both the Guardians of the Galaxy and Masters of Evil battle swarms of aliens. And Dr. Octopus wants to continue the fight, but the rest of the team betrayed him. When she was left behind, she joins the Guardians of the Galaxy to the 31st century. She proves to be a worthy member after saving the member Charlie 27's life when he had a large blood clot in his throat. She would use the 31st century technology to upgrade her suit. Feeling homesick, she would turn to the 20, 20th century, but came across a near future where the Avengers were in trouble. Returning, she was confronted by Iron Man who was being controlled by Immortus, which is, I believe, the futuristic version of Kang the Conqueror. She killed. She is. She's killed, but she was resurrected in the Chaos War storyline. So let's move on to her powers and abilities. She could shrink, of course. She could control her body size, and, and she's equipped with steam blasters, where it allows her to shoot electric bolts from her gloves. And she, and she also has flight. 